All right, well, MFA versus JJ JJ. We'll see how things go. I like how he's using uh, forward air, but he full hops a little bit just so they can make sure he get the last hit. And of course, because Olimar has that low hitbox, sorry, her box. So you have to make sure your, your actual moves are hit, good enough to hit this really short Olimar. Oh, 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 that's bad. What a trade. <laughs> and it's not We're living, enough. though. We're living. We're living. We're living. That was actually so good for MFA. Yeah, it wasn't enough, though, but good on Jay. Gotta still go for it. Definitely putting MFA a little bit scared. Watch out for the purple. Okay. Nice. Great recovery there for MFA. And there's the blue up throw. Yeah. Right on time. Blew up throw in the nick of time, but also Kirby's weight with a combination of the stage and knockback. Oh, my God. Oof. Man, Jezja's really good at finding those uh, those backers when you least suspect it. Nice. Yeah, MFA is just ready with the up smash out of shield every time. Especially when he has that purple on deck. Okay. He's gonna juggle here though. Using the whistle to avoid getting comboed too diff uh, too hard, but JJ still keeping up a lot of pressure right now. Oh. MFA he's just, he's oh damn. I was trying to say he's trying to fight his way out of the corner as aggressively as possible, but JJ still finding these hits. Great up smash to close out that stock. Oof. Still has the purple here, yep. Gotta be careful of that. Kirby's very, very light, super susceptible to dying early to that move. Oh. Yeah, down throw 72% MFA. JJ with a lot of stage control here, using those multiple jumps. But never forget, man, Homer has such a really good grab in the back throw with blue Pikmin. Not enough, though. Oh, swinging the upper to like catch the landing, but oh. not respecting the stone from Kirby. Yeah. Just fall right on top of him, hit him with the, the middle school classic right there. Jump really high in the air with Kirby and press down B. <laughs> And it was good, too, because in that specific situation, you have to look at how JJ understood, like, okay, MFA I'm definitely going to be getting me if I go from a low recovery. So if I go high, he tried it with Final Cutter, didn't work. And he said, you know what, let me go with something with a little more invincibility, which is stone. And because JJ is so good at canceling out of stone, which you have to be in order to use it properly in these little situations, JJ was definitely able to take the stock over MFA when MFA thought it was safe to go for probably an aerial. Wait, did we get this song twice? Yes. Is this your fault? No, I did either? not pick. I did not pick the song. <laughs> either, what? either There's... JJ, JJ must have picked it, or someone oh. did. You can pick the songs and they'll show up. Yeah. All right, I forgot. I forgot. I was gonna say, like, dude, you tell me out of nine hundred plus songs, you got this song twice. That's great. I I don't know why I've been playing Wi-Fi more often, and I always get um, environmental noises like seven times. Sorry to hear that. That Damn. or ectoplankton. I am ectoplankton. I get that. Oh my! Lot, but, oh. That Enough first talk was obliteration from MFA. Oh yeah. Damn. He needs to definitely to see how far JJ is going. Goes for a full dash attack all the way across the stage here. But there is the purple Pikmin up smash and JJ in a really tough spot as soon as he gets his cross up back air. Two downer attempts, but man, MFA is not going to make sure that it does not go unpunished. Oof. Yeah, MFA is uh, usually keeping, man, at, at least one purple on deck. Yeah, well, really Kirby's... Really a lot. Yeah. Oh, That was good, wow. too, because he saw the jump, but he was able to get him a purple off, purple Pikmin. JJ responds in kind with an up smash of his own. One stocks the two here. There's a lot to climb through, but we'll see, man. We've seen JJ go for the footstool down air opportunities, but we know how the MFA can still survive it. Little chiller to catch the landing. 
if he gets Almar to a high enough percent, the downer alone would just be enough to kill, but... Yeah. Yeah, M MFA. Oh! He gets okay. a spike box from the final cutter, but that's not enough. MFA still living here at 62 with a back arrow back on the stage. Looking to see JJ's recovery, unable to catch it, but definitely it's going to be him getting hit by the down air. Oh yeah, man, so playing the C stick fly. Yeah. Catching that landing. Kirby, definitely one of those characters I feel like you have to play C stick. What's the final cutter? Nice. And he tries to make sure he can get the hit where he can actually land on the stage, but unfortunately, wow. he's only landing into the blast zone. MFA takes game two. Yeah, really solid adjustment from the first game, honestly. Solid adjustment indeed, man. JJ had a lot of good options there. He was trying to actually make sure he could he could get the final cutter to where he was able to actually still grab the ledge, but also still also damage Olimar if he tried to go for an edge guard. But unfortunately, Pikmin's so strong, and that stopped at JJ, JJ in his tracks. This is going to be a best of five. Okay, let's see where Jeja is going to take him this time. Three, two, one, go. Oh, we're back. And we're hearing this song again. Jeja yeah. must really love this song. Or, or MFA, I I'm not sure. One of the two really loves Fire Emblem Three Houses, that's for sure. Personally, I don't think this is a bad stage for. Oh, Olimar. Damn. I mean, he's MFA? Just your words. <laughs> no, I mean, I thought this was a good Olimar stage. <laughs> but, yeah, dude. MFA's already shown he's so good at hitting uh, Jeja out of his up B. Yeah. Before he can, he can even touch the ledge, he's already getting spiked. And yeah. if he doesn't get spiked, he'll just get hit by the down air and take a lot of percent. Exactly. And remember, there's a starting hit, which is the actual when Kirby pulls out the sword, and then the second hit, which is on its way down. If Kirby doesn't connect that, you can actually still hit Kirby. Ooh, C-Stick Wars coming in MFA's favor because he has that purple in the pocket. Oh, oh my goodness. 56% up smash, up smash, up air. You guys forgot about the Almar <laughs> combo. Oh, nice. Goes for the whistle Ooh. at least twice to stall himself to avoid the stone. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he gets the dash tag out there in time. Uh, I know MFA was looking for that blue up throw, though. Yeah. Would have been all you need to cinch out that three stock, but Jeja's not ready to give up just yet. Oh, yeah. And Jeja with a down throw. Double forwarder for the corner carry here, but MFA gets the stage. Tries to go for a down air. No down air from Jeja Jeja as he fights back. Oh, you can tell MFA is looking for this back air, but he's unable to find it here. Gets hit by the final cutter. Pikmin has stalled a little bit of the starting frames of dash attack. MFA looking for an aerial here. JJ looking for the back air, but Ooh. unfortunately the blue Pikmin from below the ledge. I really like MFA's strategy of going for that. Every time he looks vulnerable off stage, he just swings out the aerial before his opponent can hit him. Yeah. It's been working really well for him. It reminds me of that meme, man. Call the ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> and yes, chat, don't get it twisted. This is best of five. I can't remember where MFA is from because... I saw him at MSM a few times, but I don't know if he's even from SoCal or not. I mean the original, like the real MSM, or offline MSM, my bad. Oh, it's from Vegas? That makes sense. More Vegas rep in MSM. We get more Vegas reps and SoCal reps in MSM online. Unfortunate. 
Yeah. Maybe Void, if he had good internet. I like Charlie could get top 8. He got top 8 at Juice Box. He and did. that's like, just as hard as this tournament. Oh no, Jay trying to tough spot here. Oh, no, Finally no. the he's, final card. That could have been bad though, because yeah, MFA was hitting that. He was hitting those downers on that really consistently. That's what I was saying. Okay. This is delayed in there to get past the up smash. But he's got to be careful. Because of that, <laughs> that blue up throw, that extra knockback is always what Almar needs. Man, in that area that Kirby wants to jump and try to like bait things out of his aerials, MFA is ready with the up smash like very often. It's almost like Jeja doesn't have that many safe havens to go to as far as approaches go. But off stage here, nice recovery from MFA. He's drifting out of the way of the stone, getting to the ledge again safely. Oh, going for another down air. Still has his purple in play. Gonna go for another one. Very close to hitting it, but covers the roll. Dude, MFA is looking so good right now. Jeja has to he has to pull it together. Wow. <laughs> Down air to up air? Okay, I haven't yeah. seen that before. He might be a little bit late in terms of stocks, man, but he is definitely looking to pull it together. So that's the purple in play as well. Yeah, Jeja is actually using there really well, because uh, the, the way Almar's hitboxes work is like they're like item hitboxes. So you can like clank with them if you can time your attack. Like you just saw it there, his uh, Nair just like clanked with the down smash of Almar. Still a scary position to be in though. Wow, the whistle from MFA. That's enough, though. Okay. Yeah, never forget, man. Kirby's forward smash is a ridiculous knockback. You have to give a little bit of respect here. Downer, JJ using the second jump to avoid any possible follow up here. But unfortunately, oh, get out of my face. Of man, rough one indeed. Yeah, well played from MFA. Sending JJ out of this tournament. 3 1. Great stuff, great stuff to him. He's like a, one of the Almar players that's consistently doing really well in these online.